Hey everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit and I've got my good man, Manny Calisto in the building. Now Manny, I wanted to bring you on because you had your own perspective of why you came and what happened when you left for a little bit and then why you came back. But I haven't read through it. I like to be, for, to be a little bit of a surprise. So I created some questions for you. For my audience out there, I always like to everybody to have a perspective right. of what it's like to come in and do something new, especially when it comes to fitness. I always say there's four key elements to life. You got your family, your faith, your finances, and your fitness. And so for me, this is more of a video for anybody out there to get to know you that's a member, but also to get your perspective as a member and also for anybody that might be out there that is in a similar situation that you were in or it are in now and maybe they can connect with and they can see that a place like Fit Club could be a place that they could call home or if they're not in the local area, maybe something that they could find that's in their area. So the very first question I want to ask you is what made you start with Fit Club? Uh, it's, it began with the desire to uh, maintain my flexibility and um, just stay active and um, especially as I get into my 60s very soon. So, so you're not 60 yet? I'll be 60 next year. How, how old do you feel? On most days, uh, in my 40s. Okay. Perfect. On a good day. Yeah. So one of the things that we actually talked about today on the blue was that the first thing you lose is mobility. Yeah. So a lot of people think, well, if I stop working out, I'm going to get fat, right? And it's like, well, fat is probably the least of what your long-term worries should be. It should be more about maintaining your health, maintaining your functionality. And one of the first things that we lose is not how much can we bench press, is not how far can we run, how long we can run, it's actually how mobile our joints and our body is. So the fact that you came in for flexibility is one of the key things. Key, key thing, it's like, can I get up off the floor without uh, holding on to something? <laughs> yeah. Which is a key indicator of yeah. healthy mobility, by the way. And uh, so, yeah, it's, can I keep moving? Yeah. And moving in a good way and stay mobile, stay mobile because without that, uh, quality of life is not uh, so great. One of the impacting factors that happened to me in my life was yeah. patellar fraction. Okay, so a fracture. Yikes. Went knee on knee with a guy playing football. Boom, was completely out for three months. Like it, I couldn't sleep for a week, first of all. I couldn't get up off the couch. It, uh, it, it took me an hour just to go from the living room to the toilet and to get to the yeah. toilet with the leg straight and looking at that bathtub because we had like now we have walk-in showers but at the other house we had the one where you had to step over it and That's man it was terrifying challenge it was so terrifying but it was one of the moments where I was actually able to step back and really connect you know like I found that I was moving with the seniors right so everybody that was probably 80 years old and up that was kind of mall walking we had we had a couple members that were actually in their 70s at the time yep. and uh, so I was able to kind of work out with them but y you know you, you really appreciate your health and your ability especially you know I'm 42 now so you sometimes need a reminder that like what is your long-term vision with this Right? It's not to yeah. be the most ripped, the most jacked. Like, I want to be functional. If anything, that was, that's not even a motivator. I mean, the, that's a benefit if you feel good in your body and you like the way you look. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But really, what it's about for me is even planning for the future. I want to be as agile in my 60s and 70s and 80s because I know people who are. Yeah. And the people I know that are in those, in the, that are able to really move in their bodies at that, mm -hmm. in, those, in those ages mm -hmm. uh, have always stayed active. They, they just have never stopped moving because right. uh, it's that old saying, you rest, you rust. It's, it's, an, it's a cliche, but it's true. <laughs> you rest, you rust. I yeah. like that. Yeah. So guys, if you rest, you rust. Now, I'm always curious as to how people find us. So how did you find Fit Club? <laughs> My good friend, Mia, yeah. uh, through Facebook. Uh, I, I have to say I was drawn first immediately to the group photos. Yeah. And what I saw in those group photos were, first and foremost, uh, a lot of smiles, but mm. also uh, different bodies, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, ways of being. Mm -hmm. uh, people who were obviously a different fitness from super uber fit to mm -hmm. just getting, just being themselves and wanting to get fitter, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a really 
cool energy that comes from those photos because it's done at the end of the workout mm -hmm. and people generally, whether they're sore or not, are feeling good because yeah. they've just done it. They've that's done true. their half hour, that's, that's they're, so they're on a high, yeah. regardless of how they might be feeling an hour or two hours later, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how the workout went. But, uh, but just that sense of uh, community, and clearly that was I could get that even mm -hmm. before I talked to Mia about joining or what what that was like mm -hmm. uh, I had never heard of the fit club before checking mm -hmm. you out on Facebook well I'm happy to hear that because one of the major things that I stand by is that fit club is all-inclusive like everybody is included cool. if anybody is excluded then I want no part of it yeah right so that, I'm that's happy a that you key, saw that. key factor I have to admit and the other thing for me it's really this is a real stretch I don't do group things very well okay I don't uh, I, I've always worked out but it's always been on my own on my own schedule uh, not even on the I don't do a class thing normally so the fact that I'm doing all these things that First of all, stretch me a bit, which is yeah. great. You want to do that, especially at my age. You don't want to stay the way you always done things. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, but it's a really big draw to be in a really supportive group of people. There's never been a time where I haven't felt supported by the coaches or the people that are working out uh, with me. And there's just a general sense of family. I, I you call it the fit fam. Yeah. It, it's true, but it isn't based on everybody wanting to the same goals. It's basically you are working towards your own. Yeah. You know, you say you're one percent better, yeah. whatever it might be for you. Uh, I'm not so goal oriented as in the main goal is get there. Right. That's and my then goal. all the all the Everything benefits else that comes. come from it. Just Got get you. there. Okay. So do you remember your first day? I do. <laughs> Tell us about it. I remember it being easier than I thought it was going to be, okay. to be honest. And that uh, was with me. Yeah, that was okay. with you. I you danced the whole time. I danced because I love to move. <laughs> I've been dancing since I was in my mom's womb, I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, uh, what I felt immediately was it, 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 I had never done anything like that before, never done circuit training, but yet it was so well organized. I have to be honest, it was organized mm -hmm. in a way that made it accessible mm -hmm. to me as mm -hmm. never having done. I was super tired, of course, because I hadn't been working out to that level. Mm -hmm. I had never done circuit training. I'd never worked out on a, work to a bell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically, right? Yeah, that yeah. moves you from station to station yeah. with that many people too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that was all new for me, but generally I was, I was hooked basically after the first class. I knew I had to come back. Like that wasn't a, that was a, a no-brainer for well, me. Well, I knew you were in as soon as you started dancing. Yeah, like, of course. like, this is one of our guys. Yeah. <laughs> this That's, is it. If He's I'm it. dancing, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you would miss a little bit of the next station yeah, or, or a little slow moving. Yeah, because I was the but... dance. <laughs> as long as I kept moving. And yeah. the music's awesome. And it's like, yeah. sometimes I compare being at Fit Club. I love going to... I, been a you know a night a nightlife kind of guy all my life so mm -hmm. going to a, feels like I'm going to a nightclub that's a gym mm -hmm. or a gym that's a nightclub mm -hmm. in some ways because of just the atmosphere that you have there mm -hmm. but uh, but it's the music that drives me with if you have a beat and I'm gonna move one of the pivoting points for myself was I used to be a really big bar guy okay so we're talking four minimum a week okay? yeah and I was thinking man I have such a great time like I used to entrance through the kitchen mm -hmm. at any time you know I'd be backstage at a bar I'd be upstairs in the back rooms like I was like and everybody knew who I was I could dance on any table at any time yeah and and everybody's like hey RJ and I was like but I used to hide that I actually be that I was a gym owner because I didn't want people thinking how can this guy be in the fitness but he's here partying three mm -hmm. four times a week and I said I got to make a change like this is not sustainable I got to like I want to take this fun this feeling this atmosphere and I want to take it and turn it into my own. I was yes. like, I need to be less known as the bar guy and be more known as the fitness guy. For sure. And it was funny because my first year transition, I would still go to the bars, but not as often. I went from like four days a week to like three days a week to just the weekends, to just once, once a, once a month. Like it literally made that slow right. transition. And it right. took me about a year to get into my group. And one of the biggest club promoters in the city, still one of the biggest club promoters in the city, goes, so you don't party no more? <laughs> he goes like that to me. He literally was at the bar because I was you know, not drinking. Right. I was just there to be in the atmosphere. Sphere, and I go, oh, I guess I don't. Yeah, I, I, I have to be honest. I, I went to the bar every day of the week except Sunday because it was closed. <laughs> yeah. And but I, I went to dance. Yeah. I wasn't a huge drinker, yeah. even though I did drink a mm -hmm. bit. But uh, but here's the thing: uh, a lifelong love of dancing mm -hmm. uh, 
like Shakira says, the hips don't lie. <laughs> yeah. It, like I can move yeah. comfortably. I don't, I mean, dancing's a big thing for some people. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, I can't do that. All right. uh, but for me, eh, seems natural. Okay. It just seems like a natural way of being. So you found your vibe with the Fit Fam. You started working out in the early mornings, but you've been attending, because I always check on everybody's attendance. And then all of a sudden, just gone. Stopped. So, I got sick. Okay. That's the bottom line. I got sick in okay. November. Uh, don't know what it is yet. So November, go, December, November, January, January February. February. I came a few times in January, gave okay. it a try. Mm -hmm. And now what I realized is by doing the workout, something that gave me a lot of a boost, mm -hmm. drained me and actually didn't feel good. So mm -hmm. I kind of came and went trying to see if I could make it work. Okay. But the reality was it wasn't. Uh, and, and, and I was just in a place too where I truly did not know what was happening to me. Okay. So there was a lot of anxiety around that, of course. Okay. And I still don't really know, but I know more than I did back then, back okay. in January mm -hmm. when, I, when I stopped. Mm -hmm. And now actually when I go, and uh, you know, without getting too crazy about it, but yeah. it's like, uh, there was a point I never thought I'd be able to actually get back into your gym. Like mm -hmm. I didn't, I couldn't even see myself yeah. back on the blue. It was so out of reach. Yeah. And that was, a, that was mental. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of that, that was mental. That was, mm -hmm. that was just me not being able to break through the fact that, uh, you know, I was sick, but, but I also realized uh, going back to the fit club, would have to would be part of my healing or my recovery or wherever I am right now mm -hmm. because if I stop moving then things even feel worse so even though when I'm moving I'm doing it with some help from painkillers and I'm doing some help of just uh, taking a 40 minute break after the workout I can't get into my car right away that right, kind right. of thing but but the thing is that's different from before mm -hmm. but really what it is is uh, I stopped because I really had to but at the mm -hmm. same time I always saw Fit Club as something that I had to get back to. And I knew that if I could get back to it, even in a tiny way, like a little bit at a time, mm -hmm. uh, I would, uh, mentally, I feel better. Mm -hmm. Mentally, I feel better right. because I'm there, right? Yeah. Uh, even though my, as I say, somewhere my body is broken, something is not right, for sure. Mm -hmm. But but my spirit is in good shape. It's still fighting. Yeah, it's yeah. in good shape, you know? Okay. Uh, and it's, uh, and it's, and it's, it is partly because I made a decision probably in early, mid-March to just get re-engaged in my life because when you're not well, one of the, everything, start, everything that, that should help you get better starts to fall off. Mm -hmm. So the dancing, the music, the working out, mm -hmm. the, the socializing, right. the engagement, the walking for me. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as I stop talking to people and I start, and I start uh, as soon as I stop dancing, to yeah. be honest, yeah. that's one of the key things that, I, that tells me, oh, I'm not feeling my best. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but not going to Fit Club, right. that was definitely a sign that I was not in a great place at that mm -hmm. time. Going back to Fit Club tells me that I am slowly building myself back to uh, healthier mentally mm -hmm. if and physically because I, I feel stronger now a month later since coming back. Mm. And, and when I would look at the... You're still going, what's your frequency now? I I'm, going, I'm trying to go to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, okay. every second day. Still in that routine. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. still going to continue that for a little while. Mm -hmm. And at some point, obviously build up, because at one point before I got sick, I was at six days of like six days a week, yeah. to be honest. Sometimes I built my, two back to back. Sometimes doubles, yeah. and I haven't done any doubles yet. Yeah. I haven't done that yet, but yeah. uh, I'm getting there. I was yeah. tempted this morning to do that, but <laughs> uh, but I have to go to acupuncture. <laughs> so, but yeah, just going back to Fit Club is part of how I work my way to a better place mentally and, and physically because mm -hmm. I would look in the mirror back in February and I would see a sick person. Yeah. And now I just see a person who happens to be sick mm. and can do other things. And it's not everything. Yeah. So I guess the key takeaway from that is like no matter whatever's going on in your life, even make small positive changes Tiny, yeah. and you know, you're not going to see massive amounts of results right away. No. Nope. But you're one month in, you're not exactly where you want to be. You're still following the same plan that's... Yeah you know, somewhat restricted, but at least you're making progress in the right direction. Yes, and also I'm experiencing Fit Club differently. I'm probably mm -hmm. not as engaged with the people that I normally would be because I'm quite focused on just 
taking whatever energy I have to get and mm -hmm. do the workout. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, and I'm not dancing as much as okay. I used to, but I was I'm starting to. Yeah. I'm starting to. So are you to. trying to hold back or what's going no, on? No, I'm not holding back. <laughs> I you hear the I'm, vibes, you hear the I'm beats. I'm so like... concentrating okay. on getting the exercises right <laughs> and breathing and yeah. making sure that I don't, you know, pass out. Not right. because the workout's too hard, but because yeah. of just where I am yeah. physically, I'm not 100% yet. So, mm -hmm. And, uh, but here's the thing, I have to tell you this. Mm -hmm. When I go to Fit Club, in the same way when I go out with friends and anyone who follows me on social media knows I'm, I, I'm out all the time. And yeah. the reason I am is because one of the ways I manage what's happening to me is to stay busy. Right. Because when I'm not, right. then, I, then the pity party starts. Right. So, and then maybe the questions that I don't need to be asking about mm. what this all means for me. Right. Uh, you know, that I can do that every now and then, but really I don't want to be in that place a lot. I want to be in a place where um, I got a lot of purpose and a lot of things to look forward mm. to, regardless of what's happening to me right now. Mm. And the truth is, I don't really know. And it's, it's like uh, any unknown. You can, you can go to the place of like, it could be really bad, or you could go to the place of, well, it isn't because I haven't been told that's what, the, what it is. So mm. I, I, I prefer to just, Take it day by day mm -hmm. and work out by workout in this in the case of foot cl fit club mm -hmm. and even when i'm in the workout exercise by exercise mm -hmm. and then you know as we all know those who do the fit club know that once you get into it it's amazing how quickly it goes by when you're doing the, the workouts when you're that engaged but also accepting the fact that i have my limits too mm -hmm. and it's okay to take the 40 minutes after the workout if yeah. i need to right to just mm -hmm. sit outside on the couch mm -hmm. and just wait until i can because I got to drive and I got to make sure that I'm alert and ready to do that. So uh, that's why I wait sometimes. So what about somebody that was like, you know, they're, they're watching this message or maybe they know somebody that, you know, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of members and they're close to 60. So I would say that their spouse is probably in and around the same age. Mm -hmm. I, and you know, we, we don't often see a lot of partners right. working out at Fit Club. So for two people, number one, the person that is maybe, you know, they're in their late 50s, turning 60s or in their early 60s. And, you know, they're a little bit hesitant or nervous to get a program like this started right. or to start, you know, challenging themselves in new ways. And then second of all, you know, how can you relay this message to maybe a spouse that's like, no, that's not for me. That's not for me. Yeah, I, I think in getting to that point of like, as I get into my 60s and as we, one of the things that's easy for us to do uh, at this age is to just do what we've always done. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the, the thing that I believe most about aging than anything else, you need two things, purpose okay. and community. Mm. You can get, you can get like that out of Fit Club. Mm -hmm. You can get community certainly, mm -hmm. and you certainly get purpose in the sense purpose of uh, staying healthier, yeah. more flexible, mm -hmm. and doing it not only for yourself. I always say, but for those you love and depend on you, right? Because right? right. there are a lot of people who, you know, there are people who depend on you, your yeah. family, right? Mm -hmm. And when you take care of yourself, you're taking care of them, right? right. That's that's one of the strong motivations for me to work and They might out. not need you right now, no, right? But, but they might need you down the road. Two years, three years, five years, whatever it might be. You don't know what's coming. You, you're the one that's sharp. Somebody right? has to be sharp or somebody has to be, and then you always, like I say to Brad all the time, yeah, we can't both get sick at the same time. It's right. gotta take turns, right? Yeah. And that's the thing. And that's for, for your partner too, who might, you know, need some encouragement is, uh, well, as long as one of you is stepping forward, you can always be maybe the, Incur the person that encourages them to, and because and, they have to see what it's doing for you, mm -hmm. and that's why Brad got into it, right? Yeah. Brad got into it because six months into yeah. what I was doing, he's going, yeah. hmm, that's uh, that's looking pretty good, feeling yeah. pretty good. You yeah. talk really positively about it. Yeah. Uh, I think I need to give that a try. Mm. His challenge is only it's work related, it's mm. scheduling related a little bit more okay. that, than and winter related in the sense that it's harder for us to get from our part of the city here okay. in the time. But 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 here's the thing. Well, you used to say this to me, like you know you can have all these excuses, you can. But the truth is, if you really want to do it, yeah. you'll figure it out. You figure it out. Yeah, you'll 100%. figure it out. So there we have it, Fit Fam. We're gonna do a three-part, Manny, because you're a great speaker, and I think you got a great message to share with the Fit Fam. So the key takeaway is, I think, take it day by day, and you're gonna figure it out. So, Coach RJ, Manny Callisto, FitClub.fit.